guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty videos. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, it is Taurus season. We are getting into the earth signs, yay. So we're continuing with the Zodiac makeup series. If you haven't had a chance to catch the other zodiacs I've done, I will link it up on the screen for you now. The Taurus is an earth sign and their sigil is the ball. And usually the colors associated with Taurus is predominantly green and some pink as well. But it's actually really interesting because in a lot of palettes and makeup and representation, it's usually browns they go for because they're an earth sign. And um, they're actually ruled by Venus, which is interesting because they are the planet of love. So when we talk about Tauruses and the qualities they have, they tend to be really practical people, well-grounded, loyal, warm, really stubborn, hence the ball. And they are, um, they're just, you know, practical people. Once they've made their mind up about something, once they've, they've you know, have their views and beliefs or something, they're really set in that and they're really, they don't budge. <laughs> Having an argument with a Taurus is just asking for trouble because it's just back and forth, back and forth. You won't change their mind. They are also really romantic people too, hence, you know, being ruled by Venus. But anyway, I did this look. You can see all the green situation that I was going for, a little bit of the pinks too, but I'll show you how to get this look coming up. Okay, so I primed my eyelid, I set it with some translucent powder. So we're gonna be doing like a halo eye situation today. I've got here the Stila Vivid um, Shimmer and Glow, and it's in Vivid Jade, so it's just a nice green. And we're just getting, it's like a liquid um, color base basically, and it's shimmery, so it's not really glittery, it's shimmery. So I'm just gonna take some on the wand, and I'm just taking my MAC 242 brush, but any flat shader brush will do nicely. And we're just going to pick some up onto the brush, and we're going to place it on our inner, inner third and outer third of our eye. So I'm also letting the brush do the work for me, but when I look up, I kind of want to go a bit further up than the, than the natural crease, just because I've got hooded eyes. Some sort of patting motions, some pressing and patting short strokes. And I'm still going over the previous one so that we have that same intensity. So then we just do the same thing with the outer, the outer corner. Just leaving a gap in the middle essentially. And I'm kind of drawing a little bit of a small wing shape just to help with placement. I'm actually pretty happy with how high I've taken it. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit more on my brush and just pat it a bit on that outer corner so we don't lose the intensity. And if you bring it down to like your lash line as well, you don't have any gaps. We're going into the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I've done looks with this. I'll link them up on your screen if you are interested. So we're going into the shade Lime Chrome, which is this shade up here, and it's like a duo chrome. It's sort of green, gold, a bit of pink as well. At that on that gap in the center of the lid. If you're not comfortable using your finger, you can also use a flat shader brush like the MAC 242 and just wet your brush a bit just to get that intensity. But this um, shadow is great for that, for finger for using your finger. Obviously we've got that line there, so we want to go over those edges just to help with blending. So as I've gone super light, just patting it in there to see how light I've gone. And because of how light, the, how dark that shade is, we have to really blend it in. So I'm just gonna keep going back and forth. Taking my Sonya G Builder Pro, and because it's the nap, um, the mixture of this, the um, dyed hair, so I'm just going to blend those two where they meet. And I'm actually going to go back into it with the brush this time. So I'm just going over that line that we that we have from there just to blend it so it looks less like a line. So I'm going into my Worker Pro brush from Sonia Jean. I'm taking the shade Sandstone from the palette, just lightly tapping into it. And we're just going to go above and just blend that in just use it to blend this edge up here next we're going to take a liner brush so i'm using my natasha denona number four brush and it's just like a nice short really small shade and um, smoky brush and we're going back into the gold palette and we're going into the shade log just here this brown shade 
and we're just going to pat that in and just use it and make a liner across the upper lash line like the thinnest brush you can get so you get that thin line so once you're satisfied with the um with your upper eye and that's the upper eye done then we're going to do the lower lash line so for this one we're still using the gold palette and we're going to be using these two shades so we're using this shade called teak and we're just going to blend that along the inner part of the lash line so for that i'm using my sonia g pencil pro brush so i'm just going to go tap into that lightly and run that along my inner my um inner part of my lower lash line so using the same brush i'm going into log that shade we lined our upper lash line with I'm going to run that along the outer part of our lash line and then blend it meet, make it meet the um, liner so that's the um, upper and lower lash line done and the lid and then we're just going to put some mascara on our top lashes and bottom lashes so i'm using the hourglass caution mascara eyes are done mascara is done brows are done so we're going to crack on with the base so i'm just taking my hourglass veil primer i've just got the last bits left and i'm scraping that out so i'm just popping that on my face all right we're using a foundation i haven't used in a long time and it's the dior backstage foundation i've also done a review on this if you are interested it's been on my list to crack out so just give it a good shake and i'm using the shade 6w whilst it's setting i'm just going to put a bit of concealer under this eye set the rest of my face then set this concealer so we're using my usual Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. I'm in the shade Maple. It's risky business, as you can see, not too successful when you um, do your eyes and then you do your under eye. I found, find that always risky business. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Hourglass Veil Powder. Then I'm going to set my concealer with the Too Faced Born This Way powder. I'm using translucent medium. Okay, now we're using our Natasha Denona contour sculpting powder and I'm just going to lightly sculpt my face with it. I'm using shade number five deep. Use my Sigma F40 cheek brush. And for highlighter, we're using Max Whisper of Guilt. She's going to use my Wayne Goss airbrush. And we're actually using something that I've raved about a few times on this channel. So we're using the NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Dolce Vita. So you just give it a good shake and a pump goes a really long way. Apply it to the back of my hand first and then pop it on my cheeks. So just get the nicest flush of colour. And that way it's really light handed because it's easy to really over apply this product. Especially because it's a cream or liquid rather. He's MAC Lip Liner in Hover. We're just going to line our lips and then we're going to fill it in with the MAC Lipstick in Among the Fireflies. It's just a, it's a cream sheen, cream sheen finish, just a really nice neutral nude. All right, so that's the look. So I'll... Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys and you were able to follow along comment below if you are a taurus and if you are would you wear this look also comment below if you're not a taurus i'd love to chat did you think i did this look justice in terms of taurus as well love to know on your way out if you're not already i'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and if you are ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i can't wait to see you back here again thank you so much for watching guys and i'll catch you next time bye you're already subscribed ring that bell so you don't miss out on any notifications <laughs> hi guys welcome back to Lou's beauty closet if this is your god <coughs> hi guys welcome back to Lou's beauty closet that was bad i thumped a lot